Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they want us to take this position versus time graph and to draw a velocity graph from it. And then they also want us to figure out if there's any turning points. So first off, let's draw a grid so that we can do the uh, velocity graph. So on the y-axis, since this is going to be a velocity graph, we'll have velocity right here, and that will be in meters per second, of course. And then we have the seconds as one, two, three, and four, and that will be and t in seconds, here is zero for both. And so to do the velocity graph, we need to figure out the velocity for each of these sections here. So we have one, two, and three sections where the velocity is the same for that section of time. So the first one, there's just a flat line. And we know that whenever there's a flat line, that means that there is no slope. And in here, we're taking the slope to find the velocity. So for zero to one seconds, we have no velocity. So from zero to one, we go from zero meters position all the way up to 20 in just one second. So if you remember the equation for velocity is the change in X or the change in position over the change in time. So our change in position, as we just said, is 20 meters over one second. So that gives us 20 meters per second. So we're going to jump all the way right here up to 20 for one second. And now from two to four, we have a negative slope, meaning a negative velocity. And we'll see that when we do the equation. So we go from 20 back down to zero. So now we have a negative 20 meters. And we do that in from two to four, so two seconds. So that gives us a negative 10 meters per second. So now we drop all the way down here. Negative 10, and we go all the way over to four. All right, so here is our velocity graph from the position versus time graph. And the question for part B is, is there a turning point at any point on this graph here? And the answer is yes, because we're going from zero meters, so we're not moving, and then we're going forward. So it hasn't necessarily turned around, but when we go from a positive velocity to a negative velocity, that means we're going in the positive X direction and now all of a sudden switching and going in the negative x direction. So here at two seconds, or t equals two, t equals two seconds, there is a turning point. 